It's time now for the CNSNews.com Best of the Week. The Energy Department on Tuesday rolled out some new, improved software to help Americans measure the energy efficiency of their homes. It's called the Home Energy Scoring Tool, and it's like a vehicle's mile per gallon rating because it allows homeowners to compare the energy performance of their homes to other homes nationwide. Right now, of course, getting your home scored is voluntary. To produce a home energy score, a trained, qualified assessor comes to your house for a fee and collects approximately 40 pieces of data, including information on the home's walls, windows, heating systems, and other items. Later, your house is scored and you're made aware of any energy improvements that the government recommends. Hmm. The DOE recommends getting a home energy score as soon as the program becomes available in your area. Well, if it's not raising the energy score in your home, perhaps the government could raise the gas tax when you hit the road. Former Department of Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. The Highway Trust Fund is diminished, Neil, because people are driving less, driving more fuel-efficient cars, and uh, the gas tax hasn't been raised. Because it hasn't been raised for a long time, that is just not the best argument, if you ask me, for raising the gas tax. Well, first of all, uh, we haven't raised the gas tax in 20 years. During that time, the amount that the average motorist pays per mile that they drive because of increased fuel efficiency and inflation uh, has been cut in half. Oh, Representative Earl Blumenauer. Well, you haven't lowered the tax in years either, and our tax dollars go to subsidize certain fuel efficient cars that are causing you to generate less gas tax revenue, but perhaps you wouldn't argue that we shouldn't subsidize those hybrid cars, would you? Ah, forget driving. Sometimes it's just best to go for a walk. But be sure that you've read the warning label on your shoes. You may soon have to. A Portland pimp is suing Nike for $100 million, and the reason is he wasn't warned that his Nike shoes could be used as a weapon. That's right, in July of 2012, while wearing Nike's Mr. Clarty, viciously stomped on the face of a John who was trying to leave without paying Clarty's prostitute. Clarty received a 100-year prison sentence, but Mr. Clarty is claiming that he has failed to be provided an adequate warning or instruction that has caused personal injury and the likes of mental suffering. Yeah, those shoes didn't warn me not to stomp on someone's face. And before we go, we hope you catch some of the great NFL championship games that are being played this weekend. We know for one thing, big fans like Nancy Pelosi, they'll be tuned in. I'll, I'll just put my bracelet right out there. Joe Montana's jersey, number 14. Well, I uh, but Montana was number 16, Nancy. And what I like about it, it's about numbers. I love numbers. Love those numbers and many other stories right here on cnsnews.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.